You use Boolean operations to create mathematical derivatives of 3D objects. The resulting object is created by adding, subtracting, or intersecting multiple objects. Typically, you don't use Boolean operations to model organic objects. By their very nature, Booleans are more useful for mechanical or architectural designs. In this example, you'll use Boolean operations to assemble 3D geometry into a fireplace mantle. The existing geometry was created mostly with boxes with slight edges to round off some corners and edges. The molding on top was created using the sweep modifier and then converted to an editable poly. To use Boolean operations, you need two or more intersecting objects in the scene. Select the base blue box and go to the Create Compound Objects panel. This is where you'll find the Pro Boolean tool. The Boolean tool, also seen here, uses all the technology. It is recommended to use Pro Boolean instead. When you use this tool, the selected object is converted into a Pro Boolean object, and you can now use Pro Boolean operations on it. Start off by using the Attach operation to attach all the blue parts together. Use the Start Picking button, and then use the Select by Name dialog to select all boxes and the Line Sweep object. This attaches all the objects, but does not perform any geometric edits yet. However, you now have one resulting object instead of the original eight. Using the Layer Toolbar, unhide the Detail layer. Additional objects appear in green. The rectilinear objects on either side of the mantle are made of capsule primitives. Still in Start Picking mode, set the Boolean operation to Subtraction and go to the Select by Name dialog again. Select all 12 capsule objects and click the Pick button. Notice the embossed figures on the mantle in the viewport. ProBoolean can handle more complex geometry than simple primitives. In Subtraction mode, and with Start Picking still enabled, click the text in the viewport. The operation takes a while longer, but it is still successful. At any time, you can switch operation modes. Using Union, pick the two remaining details using the Select by Name dialog. This time, instead of being subtracted, the two objects are added to the geometry. It is important to remember that Boolean operations are calculated linearly. This means that adding an operation on top of another may affect the result unexpectedly. Unhide the extra detail layer. Use subtraction mode to create two negative volumes in the mantle. This removes geometry from the original blue model, but also the details you added a moment ago. Sure enough, notice in the sub-object operations the order in which they are calculated. You can rearrange that order by selecting an operation and giving it a new spot. For example, to evaluate the sub-1 subtraction before the detail 1 union, you give the subtraction the ID number 21 and click the Reorder Ops button. This operation is now evaluated earlier while others have been pushed down. Notice the detail is now visible in the viewport. Similarly, you can reorder sub 2 to take place earlier with an ID of 22. You now have a resulting Boolean object made of 24 elements or operands. You can still have access to individual operands if you need to. For example, the two details you have been manipulating are extruding a tad too much. You need to push them in a little bit. This can be done in the Modify panel. Expand the Pro Boolean label and click Operands to access the sub-object mode. In the sub-object operations list, use Control to select the last two entries, Detail 1 and Detail 2. Using the Move tool in Offset mode, move the operands 0.5 inches in the Y direction. Exit Operands mode when done. To view the mantle texture, go to the Material Editor and drag the wood oak material onto the mantle in the viewport. 